Good morning and welcome to day 22 of the pre-holiday 30-day keto weight loss challenge. My name is Kathy Dean with Healthy Ambitions, a website and YouTube channel dedicated to the ketogenic diet and exercise. Before we get started, I want you to go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet, and if you hit that bell icon off to the side, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So we are starting week four. We are in the last third of the challenge. Uh, Thanksgiving is next week. And so this challenge runs through the 24th, which is a week from tomorrow. Um, so next week won't be, a, the final week won't be a full week on the challenge. It'll just be a couple days before Thanksgiving. Last week was a bust. <laughs> It was not good. It was period week. You know, I was over on carbs most of the days until I started doing carnivore. My weight did come down on Sunday, yesterday. I lost 1.2 pounds. I think I got down to 153.8 again. I am back up to 154.4 this morning. So a 0.6 gain overnight. Um, if you watch this whole series, you notice that 154.4 has been my most common weight. I guess my body really likes that specific number because it's been there a lot. You know, the weight loss for Saturday or Sunday morning was great. I definitely overate yesterday. There was too many cookies and the, the sugar, the uh, cinnamon roll sugar cookies that I made. And I think I had some peanuts yesterday, which isn't a great idea. Peanuts are very inflammatory and I always gain weight if I eat peanuts. So anyway, this is a new week. I have no excuses this week. There's no period. There's no PMS. There's still perimenopause, but I can't use that as an excuse. I've got to fight through that. So the big question is, after last week's um, terrible, terrible fasting glucose numbers, what does today look like? So let's check that real quick. No. I don't even know. 114. My ketones are only 0.6. My guess is, is that I am not in GKI ketosis, but I will confirm that real quick. Uh, my GKI score is 10.5, so I am officially out of ketosis as of this morning. And so that's where we're starting. We got, I almost feel like I'm starting from scratch on week four. That's what it feels like right now. So it is time to really hit the ground running this week. Uh, make sure I get those exercises in every day. Make sure I'm keeping the carbs minimal all week long. Um, so I'll be primarily carnivore. There is a tiny hiccup for this evening. We do have a, uh, a happy hour, although it's at a friend's house on their back patio. So a house happy hour outside, outdoors on the patio. And I will, I am going to plan to have um, an adult beverage. I'm basically, I'm gonna keep it as low carb as possible, even though I know alcohol it's basically poison for the body and the body treats it that way. And as soon as I drink alcohol, my body's going to stop all other fat burning modes and focus on ridding the body of alcohol. But key nutrients, electrolyte drinks, <laughs> make a great mixer. And so I will just mix up a little drink with some soda water and key nutrients, electrolyte powder and vodka. And I will take that with me, probably the equivalent of two drinks. And that will be all. And I will, um, my husband, the smoked brisket that he made yesterday, we will be slicing some of that up and I'll be making some of my keto dinner rolls to have like little brisket sliders to take with us. And then I, I need to pretty much just stay away from everything else because other people are bringing food. Um, if my sister-in-law, a lot of times she'll bring a charcuterie board. And so if she does that, then I may enjoy some of the cheese and the nuts on that, but most likely the majority of the food um, at this event will be non-compliant. So my best course of action is just to not hang out near the food table and just to socialize and mingle elsewhere. And uh, there'll be masks on in close proximity. We'll have our masks, but when it's outdoors, I don't worry so much about COVID outdoors because the wind is moving and it's circulating. It's indoor areas that concern me more so than outdoor. So anyway, we haven't met. This is a group of people that we get together. We used to have happy hour every single mon Monday and then COVID hit. <laughs> so, you know, we tried to find some interesting ways to still get together in outdoor arenas so we can still hang out some. So it'll be fun. 
But besides that, I'm going to, I've got a fresh batch of iced coffee made up. So I'm gonna have my iced coffee with just creamer and a tiny squirt of uh, chocolate stevia. And that should hold me over till lunch. Today for the workout is the, the triceps and chest day. The, the day that I, is it chest and triceps or? It's the chest day. I know that much. It's the day that I have yet to be able to complete the full workout. So, but I'm also, because I did not get all the workouts in last week for week two of that program, which is, it's confusing. It was week four of this, but I'm on week two of the workout. Um, I'm actually going to do a repeat of week two on the beginner program because I did not fully complete that week. Not just not being able to complete a specific workout, but there were several days that I did not get like the walk in or I didn't get like the leg day in last week. So anyway, this whole week is all about starting over, starting over on the diet, starting over on the workout. <laughs> and no quest bars, no quest bars this week. That is the goal, no quest. All right, it is 10.30 and I am on my way to the gym for my chest and triceps day. I restarted week two, as I said I would. <clears throat> and so hopefully, we'll see, hopefully today I can actually get through the entire workout that would be awesome um, beyond that I'm going early I'm having one you ever have one of those days and I'm sure everyone does some people more than others where you just kind of like pissed <laughs> like everything under the Sun is irritating me today like all of it all of it and I don't know if it's more menopause stuff related perimenopause and crazy hormones if it's just being over this entire year of 2020 <laughs> if it's being mad that so much is affecting my weight that's out of my control but at the same time i refuse to use it as an excuse um i think i've seen so many people they get to a certain point in life like oh you know i'm this age and weight loss is Im impossible and i just give up you know there's a lot of people that I know in my life that really just kind of gave up, I guess, and I refuse to do that. And I refuse to do that because I do see women who are like 50 and 60 and 70, and some of them finding out that they're in the best shape of their life at, in, those, in those older years. So I know it's possible, but I also recognize that we face more challenges as we get older. You know, when I got pregnant with my daughter, I had her at 20, gained 50 pounds, mind you, I ate while I was pregnant and the weight just melted off. No problem losing the pregnancy weight. 10 years later, I had my son at 30 and the weight came off easy, but I had to work at it. Like I had to actually watch it. I was eating and exercise, but it was still relatively speaking easier to get off than the current 20 pounds right now. And I gained 60 pounds with my son. Like it was ridiculous. I mean, in fact, my, <laughs> I didn't have thyroid issues at that time. My doctor actually tested my thyroid because I was getting weight so fast. And all that's very random just to say hormones as you get older suck. And I'm thinking maybe that's why I'm irritated today. I'm just irritated. <laughs> I'm just irritated at my body right now, I think, which is dumb. I don't even know if I'm going to include all this in the video because this is just me kind of ranting and having a pity party. And I would love, part of me wishes that I could be 20 years old again and stuff an entire large pizza into my belly with no ramifications. And even though I know it's terribly unhealthy then, I mean, I was definitely the definition of skinny fat in my 20s. I was thin, but I was definitely not healthy. But man, just to be able to at least look healthy, <laughs> regardless of what you're eating, sometimes I miss that. I really do. But anyway, so, like I said, I don't, I don't know if I'll include all this. I may just edit all of this out. I don't know. That was just me rambling on the way to the gym. I'm going to get in here. Hopefully, getting a workout will tame whatever irritable hormones I have going on in my body right now. Because, you know, my poor family doesn't need to, <laughs> to suffer just because I'm irritable. It, and they're, they're, it's really, they're the ones that suffer <laughs> when I'm irritable not me it's them so I need to I need to take a chill pill and uh, I guess 
get over myself is what I need to do. I just need to get over myself. Like nobody else is causing this irritation. I mean, yeah, I'm getting irritated at other people, but not because they're doing anything wrong. Like this is, this is all me, not them. So pray for me, <laughs> pray for them, pray for all of us. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Winning. I finished the entire workout on a chest and triceps day. But I'll admit, I got nauseous on the last superset. Th that superset is one I hadn't done before. Get some air going. And it was all about the triceps. And my, <laughs> my I was just, the, the last thing I was doing was these skull crushers where, you know, hold either hold a dumbbell or a barbell. I had to do a dumbbell because they don't have a low enough weight barbell. But I did the eight, just the eight pound dumbbells. And... <laughs> My whole arm was shaking at for eight pounds, you know, double fisting eight pounds. And I thought I was going to die there at the end, but I was determined. I was so close to finishing it. And I'm just like, I've got to finish it. This is the first time since I started this BBG sweat program, the Kelsey Wells power program that I've actually finished a chest and triceps day. So that felt good. It hurt. I'm not going to lie. It hurt. It hurts now. I expect my triceps to be killing me over the next day or two. Um, I'll be surprised if they're not because they are, they are exhausted right now. Like hopefully I don't have to pick anything up at the house <laughs> because I don't think I'll be able to. Luckily I have a grown man and a teenage son who can do any heavy lifting for me because my arms are done. They are done for. So now I'm going to go home. It's only 1130. So it's not quite lunchtime yet. Uh, so far I've just had, I've had my coffee with creamer. I'm on my water, second water, I guess. So I'm gonna go home, grab me some electrolyte powder. I think I'm probably gonna drink one before lunch, maybe another one with lunch, cause I'm right now. And then I'm gonna take a nice long, long shower. So I'm already feeling better. I'm a little bit less irritable after the workout. So a nice, long, steamy shower. I love to turn, we have a, one of the shower heads that you can turn on just um, steam. Or it's almost steam. It's like very, very fine water droplets. So it's practically like steam. Like small enough water droplets that you can breathe it in, right? And, and just sit in the shower. Sometimes I'll, just, I'll get in the shower and I'll literally like sit down in the shower and just let the water run over me. And for me, that's very therapeutic. Um, I always joke. I'm not, I'm not a big crier like tears. And even when I'm like upset or anything, I very rarely cry. But if I'm going to, I'm a, I'm a shower crier. <laughs> And I don't need to cry today, but that's just like my shower, going into the shower, that's like my, my, my refuge, <laughs> my, my little just get away from the world type of place. And so I think I just need to go and run out the hot water in the shower today and just sit and meditate and chill and breathe in the steam and then move on with my day and it will get better, you know. I'm usually a very upbeat, happy-go-lucky person. I usually don't, I especially don't let my irritation usually show in video. My, my family catches the brunt of it, right? Because you're always, your heart is on the ones that you love, the ones that are closest to you. So if I am irritable, my family definitely catches the brunt. Most other people don't really see it. But I also want to be real. Like I'm not, I'm not a robot. I get irritable. I get pissy. And today's been, this morning was one of those mornings. And I'm, I'm leaving to go to the gym. My husband's like, are you okay? I mean, I'm just like incredibly irritable right now. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I'm just irritated. He's like, okay. <laughs> the, the poor man. <laughs> I feel bad for him. It's okay. I'm going to go home and chillax in the shower and have some lunch. And then I'll get back to work. And uh, I look forward to happy hour and just hanging out with, with friends. I almost forgot to update you on the workout. So the total workout time was 46 minutes. That included a five-minute walk to start with. So 41 minutes of that time was straight up strength training. I burned 211 active calories for a total calorie burn of 273 for that, that 46 minute period. And uh, my average heart rate was 126. I think that's what it was last Friday when I worked out, but it ranged from 100 all the way up to 152. So my, I was definitely getting my heart rate up there. It was a good workout. If you, uh, if you got the money to invest in the BBG sweat app, um, I highly recommend it. And they actually just added on some new trainers on the app, which is all part of the subscription. But they added a yoga teacher and a bar instructor. Um, and then, of course, they've got Kelsey Wells and 
uh, Caitlin Ines. She's Australian. I forget, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. She has a lot more of the HIIT, the HIT workouts, than Kelsey Wells is more strength training, uh, which is why I use, which why I'm using her. Um, so yeah, so that's what I just wanted to update you on the actual, the calorie burn aspect of it. I've only taken 2,200 steps this morning. That's because I, I have a standing desk, but I stand still most of the day. So I need to, I need to work on getting some more steps in. But okay, off. I'm off. Okay, home from the gym. Had a wonderful shower. I'm all made up, ready to go out with friends tonight. And I drink, I drink half of an electrolyte drink. I went with, just so they can know what I have every day. I went with the orange flavor today. And I will be making up a second one of those here, of these here in just a second, because I had a pretty strenuous workout. And then for lunch, I have four ounces of chicken, one cup of broccoli, and one ounce of shredded cheddar. I'll also put a little bit of extra salt on top. I am back to measuring everything today so I can properly calculate it. Even in my coffee, I measured out my cream. <laughs> so, cause I, you know, if I'm not measuring, I'm overeating and I'm not properly tracking. The workout did me good. The hot, hot, steamy shower did me good. And I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'll get back to work. Um, got about four hours until we go out for our happy hour. And I will check back in later. I might check in before the happy hour. Maybe I'll go over how I'm making up my adult beverage. We'll see. Um, I do need to go buy Kroger and get some carbonated water. And there's something else I needed. I forget. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my lunch and I will check back in later. Hey, it is the afternoon. I'm starting to get ready to go to happy hour. I did make myself another coffee because I needed it. It was either this or I was going to start snacking. And I know when I very when I, when I first started doing keto almost three years ago, one of the ways I curbed off a sweet tooth or just snacking in general was coffee with a creamer. <laughs> and I don't know why it works so good for me, but it does. But I also want to show you, and I am going to have one before we go because I want to break it open and show it to you. But I just made the, uh, the little dinner rolls and they're basically little sliders. And uh, hang on, let me, get, let me get me a napkin for this because it does have everything with the bagel seasoning on it. I will link to the blog recipe and to the YouTube video showing how to make these. It's just a variation of fat head dough, but they are perfect for little sliders. And so we'll cut these in half and then put brisket in the middle. But look at this. I don't know if it's got good lighting. Oh, that's, that's a good shot right there. So that's, that's what it looks like. And mm, they're ridiculously good. So I actually made these for Thanksgiving last year as part of my holiday recipes that I was doing for the website. So if you go to this recipe link that I'll put in the description box, you're going to get another, a list of other links to all my other holiday recipes, which include like pecan pie and pumpkin pie. There's like for Christmas breakfast ideas, there's monkey bread and breakfast pizza. And there's also some size, like one of my favorite sides growing up was this uh, potato hash casserole, potato hash brown casserole. And I make it with, of course, cauliflower. And if you're, if you're not sure about cauliflower, this is a recipe for you because it is loaded with like a homemade cream of chicken and butter and all kinds of yummy goodness that you honestly don't even taste the cauliflower, but it's got that texture of potato hash brown uh, bits. And so it really, really is amazing. And then there's also like a spinach casserole in there that's really good. There is a green bean casserole. And what else did I put on there? I forget what else. There's I think like 10, eight to 10 different recipes. Oh, eggnog. I have a keto eggnog recipe that's on there that is amazing also. So again, click on the link to the keto dinner roll from the description box. And then that, that page will bring up links to all these other amazing holiday recipes as well. It's a great way to be able to make food and have fun food and yummy food, but still stay keto through the holidays. Um, and that's kind of the goal is even if I know I'm going to overeat, but at least if I still keep it to keto foods, then the recovery shouldn't be quite as bad. <laughs> all this left to do to get ready for tonight is... Um, I need to make up my adult beverages. So I'll just make up, like I said, a, a container to take over there and then wait for my husband to get home. He is at, uh, he took my, our son to physical therapy. 
So just waiting on them to get home and then let him get ready. And we were told uh, one of the ladies that's going to be at the happy hour, she works for one of the local magazines <laughs> and she covers events and stuff. And so she actually, because things have been slow at work, she put in this happy hour as an official event for the magazine. So we told we were told to dress a little bit nicer than usual because there would be pictures for the magazine. Um, so luckily I had already... <laughs> done my hair and makeup which is good but I told my husband I was like you need to be dressed a little fancier than just like gym clothes attire for this happy hour so <laughs> it should be fun though it should be a lot of fun I don't expect to be able to get any footage of being there if I get a chance to I'll at least try to get a picture of the food which will include foods that I'm having to resist temptation on but I don't expect to get any footage this will probably also count towards my dinner while we're there. So regardless, I will do a wrap up video before I go to bed tonight um, to let you know how the evening went. That's all for now. I will, I will check in later. Okay, so we're about to head out to happy hour. I've got my adult beverage made up. I've got three ounces of vodka, two scoops of electrolytes, and 16 ounces of um, carbonated water, just seltzer. So I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm gonna be over electrolyted today <laughs> because I already had my electrolyte drinks earlier, but that's okay. You know, if you're gonna drink alcohol, might as well stay hydrated with electrolytes <laughs> while you do it. So anyway, so we've got the the rolls cut up into slider halves and we've got the brisket from the big green egg yesterday that my husband spoke up that we sliced up to put in the sliders and we are about to head out. Okay, it is almost eight o'clock. We just got back from happy hour, which uh, it's, a, it's an extended happy hour, but we are at a friend in a friend's backyard. Had a great time. I'm not going to have my total macro count for the evening because I did, um, I did indulge in some other snacks that came around that were not, um, they were keto, but um, to try to figure out if the macro is going to be a little difficult. So I end up having two of the, my keto rolls. I had two of those sliders with the beef brisket. So probably a total of about two ounces of beef brisket. And then between the one I had at home and two of these I had while I was there, that was probably about 12. That was These are just over four total carbs a piece. So there were probably about 13 total carbs in dinner rolls <laughs> that I had tonight. And then of course the beef brisket. I had probably about three ounces of that total, um, zero carbs there. And then my sister-in-law, she did bring the charcuterie. And so just, she, there was the mozzarella wrapped in prosciutto that I had, but I, I had several of those. So I'm not sure how many of those were total, but I didn't indulge in anything else. I will say the drink I made up that included the vodka and the seltzer water and the electrolytes was amazing. It tasted like Kool-Aid with a, just a hint of vodka in it. And so I think, honestly, like, I think I like that better than drinking the Trulies. One, Trulies tend to give me a headache. They just do it. Jokingly, I call them a headache in a can, but I would drink them because they're, you know, minimal carbs. But the vodka, salsa water, and electrolytes, and I did the, I chose the, the cherry palm, and it was very, very good. So I think that's going to be my new drink of choice for keto drinks. Basically, a, a keto vodka Kool-Aid <laughs> is what it tasted like. So, but it was a fun night. It was great night with friends. I think we're planning another outdoor event next Monday. Um, so I'll do something similar for next Monday, which will be the Monday before Thanksgiving. That's, that's about it. Again, I don't have my macros, but it was overall between what I had for dinner, which is, again, we'll call it, we'll call it 13 total carbs there. I had bro a cup of broccoli for lunch. That's another five total carbs, I think. So I'll call that 17. I was probably close to the total 20 carbs mark today. I did not go, if I went over 20 total carbs, it wasn't by much. The vodka will have some carbs. So you know what? I probably hit 30 total carbs. Like again, I'm not tracking the macros exactly. I'm kind of guesstimating, which means I'm probably underestimating, honestly. Um, but all in all, it was, it was a good Monday. It was a fun Monday. And then, so we'll see. Not too confident about what my glucose numbers will be in the morning, knowing that I did have alcohol tonight. So it will be very interesting to see. That is all I have for you today. I hope you are having an amazing week, the final week before Thanksgiving week. And I will see you 
on the next video.